Here comes your candidate bulletin. There's all sorts of great information. We will not go over the entire thing, but you want to go to the page after page 14 to see the checklist. And let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger for you. That's better. And uh, obviously, here's the checklist. You need a completed application. And you need to do a current picture. How do you do that, Jack? Current picture. Well, the picture is very straightforward. Just take a selfie and then attach it as an image file. Try to make a good selfie, but you do not need a professional photography, uh, a professional photographer to take this picture. Uh, the appropriate education document is signed and uh, documented and attached. That is what we will send to you. That's the education certificate, which we sign and stamp. The endorsements, yes, you'll need those. We'll talk about those in a second. And you'll need your Corey acknowledgement form. So brokers need more things, which is clearly itemized here on the checklist. And for brokers, we uh, talk about that in broker class. You know what you need if you're a broker candidate. Uh, it's clearly identified on this, on this checklist. Let's scroll down to the bottom of this checklist where it reminds you that you can email your application to the exam center. It also says that technically you could mail the application, but I'm telling you right now, do not do that. You want to email the application. Do not put it in the U.S. mail. That is uh, not a good strategy. Uh, you want to email the application as I have highlighted the application um, address here in the online uh, document, the candidate bulletin. Scrolling down from there, you have your application, which is pretty straightforward, and ask for some identification here, uh, name, address, phone number, that type of thing. Uh, there is the uh, work, ex I mean, the education experience, which you should check that box. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. They ask you some questions, whether or not you faced discipline in the, in the past. Those are pretty straightforward questions. And they remind you that you're going to have a uh, Corey check, a criminal history check. Further down, they mention the price of the exam and they include a place where you can put your credit card information to pay for the exam. After that is the Corey form, the acknowledgement form. You'll need to get this notarized and you should not fill it out until you're in the presence of the notary. I got a lot of questions about what type is the Board of Registration. That would be the Board of Registration in real estate. And what is the license type? That would be salesperson or broker. Most of you are going for your salesperson's license. Below that is a second page of the Corey application, which just basically is more of your uh, basic information, you know, name, rank, serial number type of questions. Uh, leave the space blank where it says verification by notary. Leave that blank. Jack, where do I find a notary? You could start at your local bank. Also, an insurance agency is a good place to go. Even a real estate agency. Or try Google, Google Maps. Just Google it. The next thing is the candidate um, education certificate, which is blank because we are going to send you a completed education certificate with our stamp and my signature on it. So this is, the, this is one you do not use. You discard the blank one. Use the one that, of course, we sent you. Below that is your candidate endorsement forms. Remember, no classmates and no relatives. No classmates, no relatives. Uh, technically, it's no classmates known to you only from the real estate class. So if you signed up with your buddy that you knew prior to taking class, you could have them sign it. But as a general rule of thumb, I would just say no classmates and no relatives. Pretty straightforward here. Name, address, occupation. Have them fill that out. Have them sign it. There's You need three, and the form has space for three. That's pretty much how you do it. Don't forget, you need to email the application and that is highlighted on the bottom of this page ma.applicationprocessor or at psionline.com it's right there in the candidate bulletin you can't miss it do not mail your application and have a great day study hard